Hey everyone, Frosty Snow here. I figure I might just start doing a monthly haul video because one of the most commonly asked questions that I get is where do you buy your stuff? Tools, paints, gumpla, kits, resin, whatever. And actually the thing is, is most of my viewers are outside of Korea and the sites that I or Cookie buy from are only in Korea and they only ship within Korea. Um, most Korean sites don't ship overseas. So whenever people ask me, I feel really bad to say like, I don't know, or they don't ship to your country. Um, but that's just what happens to be the case. But anyways, uh, for anyone who is residing in Korea, or you have friends in Korea, you, you might, you know, be able to find some of these things useful. And it's just fun to watch what other people buy. We got this from a place called uh, Sama Wangu. The reason why we buy from um, this site, not just because we used to know him, but because um, he gives a free paint bottle with every paint purchase. So this whole thing is free. He got this uh, scriber thing. He said he uses it to scribe circles. We got a bunch of sanding sticks, uh, mostly in 600, which I use more. Cookie uses the 400 a bit more on the resin kits. So I usually go from 400 to 600. One-handed filming, guys. This one is Cookie's. He's using it for the gun cannon. We do use the Kung's line for the surfacer. Although I'm starting to rethink that because their black surfacer was really bad. But um, Cookie likes their white foundation. They're quite popular for their um, entire surfacer line in Korea. We use this a lot under opaque bright colors. Um, we got this as a freebie. It's so nice. So um, this isn't like the reason why we order from um, this site. But... Um, and we don't get it all the time, but sometimes he gives us like freebies to try. And this is the Finishers Foundation White, which is normally super expensive. You can see it's made in Japan. Um, and he also gave us the um, Finisher Thinner to mix this with. So that's really cool. We're usually really ghetto and we just mix whatever thinner um, we happen to have with the paint. It doesn't seem to make a difference, but I'm excited to try this. We don't have very many Finishers paint. We have this drill. And I have this, the drill bit that came with this is broken and I have this drill bit <laughs> which Cookie took off of this um, hand drill. So this was my personal original hand drill which um, came attached with this drill head but um, he took my drill head off because his drill head was broken and used it on this drill. It is interchangeable so that's really cool. Um, but this drill head doesn't fit the biggest drills that we have and normally that's not a problem we don't usually go up to we don't usually go up to this size um, but uh, because I wanted to use magnets this time for the SD resin kit so he bought a bunch of magnets and these are super cheap like I don't know these are like three bucks for a bag and we did not buy them off of a gun plus site actually a lot of tools that are used for Gunpla and sold on Gunpla sites are sold for extra expensive. If you just like look online for magnets um, that are not hobby magnets, they're so much cheaper. We need the big drill for the biggest magnet and it doesn't fit into this little drill head. So he also bought this um, big drill head to fit the big drills. I actually don't really buy um, very many kits, especially plastic Bandai kits. I am on a uh, like um, self restriction order. I'm not allowing myself to buy any kits until I've built a significant amount of, of my backlog, which is why I started with the Ziggler because it was the biggest kit in the backlog and it was taking up so much room. So I was like, I just have to get this out of the way. So I'm really happy I've done that. I think after I've um, maybe made and painted up a few more kits, at least like three or four, um, I might start to feel okay with maybe buying kits that I really want or they're on sale or they're really rare. But otherwise, I'm not really buying kits. Cookie, the hubby, on the other hand, with his wife's permission, is still buying kits. But we've kind of come to this agreement that he will sell um, kits from his backlog and use that money to buy new kits. Um, 
and he's been pretty good with following that. I haven't seen anything he sneaky bought into the backlog. That's the downside of having a wife that makes Gunpla with you because she knows every single kit what that you have and how much they cost. This month, Cookie bought two resin kits. One is this, the um, resin nightingale, and um, it is used. Cookie buys most of his kits used, which I really support. You know, you're saving money and. He kind of finds some kind of satisfaction of buying a kit that's like really messed up and um, someone else uh, tried to make but wasn't successful with and then making it look really good. Kind of like turning garbage into jewel? Garbage into gold? Garbage into treasure! garbage into treasure he likes turning garbage into treasure so um this is so what let's take a look at this so first of all this is the utopia cast nightingale and utopia cast is usually a company that has really good um casting resin quality so the stuff they cast is usually quite clean and here we have i'm gonna have to stand up for this here we have the nightingale. So this is the manual. Oh, someone's beeping outside. Uh, 144. There we are. Yes, the manual. And yeah, there we go. 144. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. There it is. I think the under underside of this kit is just so cool because you can see um, the nightingale after you make it. If you look at it kind of like from the underside, you can see all these um, underside side details. Um, so that's why the underside is so, so detailed. I think this is so cool. Um, I actually kind of like this kit myself. Um, I would love to make this, but this is cookies. I always jokingly ask him whenever he buys um, a resin kit home, I'm like, oh, is this for me, honey? And he's like, no, this is mine. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but this is so cool. Even these um, um, thrusters, like the reason why I love the Xeon kits, I mean, these look so badass. These are these look so evil. Like just, just the way the design is like angled out. And you can see, I mean, this casting quality is also very good as well. The smaller parts. That's it for this one. A lot of stuff in here. This is the Resin Delta Conversion Kit for the MG Kit. And... Um, there we go for the Delta Plus. And um, basically, conversion kits need the original Bandai plastic kit. Um, you use certain parts of it and then you like slap on the resin conversion parts. So he also ended up uh, being able to pick this up with the original Bandai kit. So this person um, had uh, sent him the manual. It's like it is the Bandai kit and maybe this person already sprayed on surfacer this is like a kit that you know someone they bought they were ready to make they bought the um the bandai kit and then the resin conversion and then they were kind of like just taking a look at it and trying to piecing it together and maybe found it too intimidating or they wanted to do something else um and these are the kind of kits that cookie often buys um uh they're they're usually a lot cheaper than getting like just this brand new by itself shipped overseas Let's take a look at this one too.
So Cookie bought some secondhand thinner. It's uh, uh, not thinner, a uh, surfacer. It's actually originally car surfacer. It's two liters of it. And someone um, thinned it with IPP thinner. So car, oh! Oh my God! Cars, oh my God, I just spilled all this water. Oh, open hand up. 방수 돼 있어? Um, car surfacer. Oh my god, our, our place is so messy. Car surfacer is cheaper than, um, you know, modeling surfacer. So that's why we're gonna give it a try. It's uh, we bought car surfacer before, but it was um. Well, uh, 나중에 올릴게. It uh, it was too. We bought car surfacer before, but it was like about um six hundred sandpaper grade um but this one is supposed to be 1000 so we'll give it a try see how it goes that's it for this month march is haul it might be coming out a little bit earlier but um i don't really predict that we're gonna buy that much more stuff like in terms of um kits or paints but if we do i will move it to the april haul hope you enjoyed and thank you so much guys so far for your support subscribing liking and commenting see you next time bye